Okay, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a quick little senior year house tour. What's really nice about my home is that it comes with a garage and a washer and dryer and it is a stellar location. I'm literally so beyond blessed to live so close to the beach and the bay. And as an SDSU senior, it's so like normal to like move down to PB, but I wanted to live in Mission because I'm more of a like beach person and I would rather live closer to the beach and the bay than the bars. But it is still a super close walk to all the bars, which is really, really fun and a lot of my friends do live near me down here. So it's been so fun for the week that I've lived here so far. And I'm so excited to live here for the rest of the year. It's crazy that as a senior in college, we get to live this close to the Bay and Beach and I'm literally so fortunate and so blessed to have this opportunity and I don't know how I'm gonna move to a different place later in life having lived here. The amenities and everything that we get that are included in this place is actually insane. We lucked out, we're so freaking blessed to live here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm excited to be living here and making more content in this house and sharing my life living down at the beach. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, bye. So when you walk into the beach home, over here to the right is the kitchen. The whole entire house did come furnished, so that was really, really nice. So this island was here. It's just a kitchen table, so this is where we sit and like eat our food, which is nice because it also acts as an island and it has like some storage under there and four seats, which is just really nice because there's only two of us, so it's like the perfect size. And then we do have an oven, a microwave and a dishwasher which is really nice and all the appliances up here also came but then we did bring a few things of our own what also is really really nice is how massive this fridge is so it's literally huge we can fit so much stuff and it's massive down there the freezer and then from this angle over here, the kitchen is like a perfect size for two people. It's not too big, it's not too small. And then instead of having a Brita, the best thing that we decided to do was getting this filter thing on here so it just filters out the water through there. So then we don't have to worry about someone forgetting to fill up the Brita. So that's really nice. And then, yeah, this is basically the kitchen. It came with utensils and everything, but we kind of just swapped it out and put our own utensils in here because it was like a beach rental. So we didn't really know like who was using it and whatnot. But this is our kitchen and it's like the perfect size. And then the best part about the kitchen is the pantry that we have. So it has this nice storage rack on the side where we just have like random things so like baking stuff some celsius's like vanilla extract some water bottles there and then there's this huge storage thing that has a bunch of our food so there's my food here vanessa's food here and then a bunch of random stuff down there and then this closet does go so far back you literally can't even see the end of it but we can't put anything back there until the plumbers come and install this pan but we will have so much additional storage back there but it's so nice having a pantry right there because although we do have all of these cabinets that's for like pots and pans and cups and all that stuff like as you can see they're filled with like pots and pans and stuff having that for food alone is just such a nice addition and then over here is our little like safari tribal family room it's like cheetah print very woody very like brown leather kind of vibe so this couch right here is actually the most uncomfortable couch you'll ever see in your whole entire life like I hope you can see how uncomfy this is. But when you sit on it, you like don't go into it. You just like, it's a rock, but it's a pull-out bed, so that's nice. But it came fully furnished, so that's what we get. But it is a pull-out bed, which is really nice for if we ever have guests. This couch is super duper comfy. And then what's really nice about this coffee table is that the storage in it is so far back. So there's so much storage in this house. It came with the TV, which is really, really nice. We connected our Wii to it, which is fun. We have a ton of blankets over there. And then we will probably take down all the artwork that's hanging around here and make it our own just to make it more cozy. And then because it is a beach home, it doesn't have AC, so this fan is really Really nice and then over here in by this and this closet's a mess right now just because that closet we can't use completely but 
Once it's more organized, this is like our cleaning supply closet. So like those boxes are gonna be hidden over there. But this is our cleaning supply closet. We literally have so many cleaning supplies, like extra paper towels, extra beach towels for if people come and visit and need towels, Swiffers, like yoga mats, vacuums in addition to the big one. And it will be way more organized once we can utilize that closet. But this is also just a really nice closet to have off of our kitchen and our family room. So our family room is just this and it's really, really cute. So then, off of our family room we have this hallway which leads down to our bedrooms and our bathroom so we have one bathroom in our place which is this so we have the toilet and then in this corner which is really nice it is the storage rack so we each have two shelves so Vanessa has the top two and I have the bottom two and I just use these little bins to store all my stuff that I like use every day so like this stuff I basically use every day like my makeup remover my shower cap stuff like that behind the toilet which is really nice we just have this shelf where we hang our hands hand towels in that and then behind the door we have our bath towels and then in the shower which is actually huge the shower is actually massive I love it so much and I love that there's a seat in it is a little hanging thing where we store some of our shampoos and body washes and all of that and then there's a little cove right there and the bench which is really really nice the shower is awesome and the water pressure has been so so good and then we have the mirror and this, there's a lot of storage in here, which is really good. Same thing, this is packed to the brim with cleaning supplies, which is really, really nice. And yeah, our bathroom is like perfect for two people, which has been really, really nice and convenient so far. And the artwork in here is just really beachy, so we're like content with it in here. So our bathroom is nice and we like it a lot. And then going off of our bathroom, Vanessa's room is down there. I won't give a little tour of that, but you go into my room. So as I said, this room came fully furnished. So the furniture is not furniture that I would necessarily pick. So keep that in mind, but this is my room. So let's begin. You walk in and to the left, I hung up these four posters that I got from Redbubble, New York, a lightning bolt, Seek Adventure in San Diego. And then there's this massive closet. It has two mirrored doors, which I really like for taking photos and just seeing what your outfit looks like in the morning. So when you open these big doors, I have my closet organized the same way as I've always had in the past. So at the top I have like shirts, pants, um, jeans, long sleeve shirts, going out shirts, normal shirts, pants and party clothes, sweatpants and leggings, jeans, like flannels all down there in these bins. And then sort of color coordinated, but I need to do a little bit better is my dresses. Then I have my skirts and then I have nice going out tops or nice short sleeve tops and all my short sleeve tops are all color coordinated. And then I move on to just like athletic t-shirts and then I go on to jean jackets and then sweaters in the back because obviously in San Diego, you don't need that a lot. And then since I had two side tables, I just put one in my closet because I only needed one. Put some random stuff back there like my yoga mat, my ski boots and all of that. And then something else that was really nice was that they gave me a shoe rack. So I have all my shoes in my closet. I've never done that before in an actual home that's long term. So this is a first. I have so many like air fresheners in there because like shoes aren't disgusting. So I have all my shoes on that rack, which is really, really nice. And then on this side, my closet's like kind of gross back there and just random stuff around there so ignore that but I have this little target holder and in the right one I have literally all masks the center one's just random art stuff and the left is just like extra bathroom stuff over here I have just a whole stack of backpacks and bags the middle is just random stuff again and then I have like school stuff in these two holder things from Target so that is my closet and then over here next to my bed I have a trash can I don't even know if I need this trash can so I don't know if I'm keeping that there I have an air filter I have a fan once again because there's no AC a lamp that came with the place it's really funny but I actually like it I just have like my two books here Aquaphor my Google mini some more Aquaphor a little candle and a oh my god I forgot what they're called oh my god and I have this what are they called? I'm actually spacing in. I'm not even going to include what it's called because that's embarrassing. And then I just have a huge pile of cords where all my chargers are and stuff are. So that's that. And then of course the infamous Megan board of photos. There's two actual boards here that I pre-made and then the rest I just hung up photos around. It's a little bit slanted which has pissed me off a little bit but overall I love it. It's just really like colorful and inspiring to me. And it's so different than the style of Vanessa's room that's like very simple and plain and put together but I like colorful and bright so that's that's that. And then my bed. So my bed is a king size bed. It's freaking massive. I've never had a king size bed. I don't need a king size bed, but it came with it. So I'm stuck with it. So that's 
this. My comforter is from Target. Awesome because I'll probably never have a king size bed again until I'm married. So that's that. So king size bed over here. I guess it's not like completely done yet my room because I'm going to hang in photos and these things and replace that because this huge thing came with the room. But I don't know. I want to keep that because that matches this dresser. And if I got rid of this dresser that has like my bras, my underwear, my pajamas, my shorts, sweatshirts are on the bottom and PJs. Like it would just be this random piece of wood. So I feel like by having this piece of wood here, it really like ties the room together so I'm gonna keep that but below it at the end of my bed I have this huge thing from Target I've had it ever since freshman year of college I think and then I just filled it with bins from Target and PB teen in the blue things I just have random stuff in that black thing I have extra bedding in this black thing bags hats in there books behind there random air fresheners behind there and then random school supplies behind there and then up here I just have random stuff again I need to like organize it maybe a bit more and find more home or a better home for these things but I just have like a lot of books up here more books there a box of tissues a little quote every day may not be good but there's good in every day I've had that since freshman year my little life is good artwork that I did and then what I really wanted was like masks that were super accessible like to my door in case I was like running out and then I forgot it so I have this huge like just carton thing of masks right there I have that and then next to this I have my hamper this room came with a tv which was really nice and it had a fire stick with it so I've been utilizing that next Next to my bed then on this side, I put my Ikea Alexa, I think it's called, desk that I bought off of OfferUp for $80. It is so big. I love the depth of it. It holds so much. I got it this summer and I have this little ottoman that I got from Target that I've had for three years now. But on top of it, I just have my candles, my Aquaphor, my speaker, some pencils, stuff that I use every single day when I'm getting ready, my glasses, container and all of that. I have some artwork over here, my mirror, my earrings, my contacts, my ring lights in the back over here and my fan and then in all the drawers over here I have the stuff that I also use every single day so I have like all my medicine I have all my makeup I have my blow dryer and stuff like that and like all my electronics so this desk is basically the stuff that I touch every single day and even though I sleep on that side of my bed I like get up over there walk around and sit over here and get ready every single morning so this is my desk over here I literally would recommend this desk to any because it is so big and you can fit so much and then underneath I just have my slippers but I have carpet on the floor which I kind of wish eh, I don't know I'm kind of indifferent about the carpet because I love hardwood but in bedrooms I guess I like carpet but we also live at the beach so I don't know how I feel about carpet at the beach on to the outside so I have these green shades that are like blackout shades which has been really really nice but what's really nice about the whole house is you walk out these double doors to this first level deck that we have where we have this table that just has four seats which has been really nice to do schoolwork and just chill and this is just the view of it really really cute and then you go up this like spiral staircase and once you go up the spiral staircase this is the view And so over there is a like bar and then the beach is over there. There's a really cute cafe on the corner here and a bakery over there. And then right over there is the bay. You guys can see it right there. It's literally like a two second walk each direction. So that's that.